Welcome everybody. This is the consort competition. Now on choral courses, one of the main things we do is have people break, broken up into six different consort groups. And then with a member of staff, they rehearse a consort. Um, it's often light, it could be a magical, uh, it could be a piece of Gershwin arranged, and um, adhering obviously to all the musical values. And now we're trying to do that again so that people get a chance to have a go at it um, uh, virtually. So, of course, the new component that comes in is being able to do it technically. And rather than do it technically for everybody, we got one of each group to be the technician. So we have a musical director, a technician, and a balance, balance group. We got the group together into that balance. So it will be wonderful now to hear the finished article. So cut to a few weeks later when it had all finished. Um, and then after that, we'll have Pat Dunnocky of the King Singers, but more importantly, of choral courses before that, who will introduce um, and talk about his views about how it should be done and helpful remarks and the odd, the odd suggestion for future improvement. And Alex James, who's been behind all of our virtual stuff that we've been doing, and I hope a lot more, will give some remarks to the people who have put it all together. So thanks everyone for watching this. Um, here come the consorts. Oh, let us sweat out of sight. 
A one, a two, a one, two, three. I got, I got rhythm. I got, I got music. I got, I got more. And who could ask for anything more? I got, I got daisies. I got in green pastures. I got, I got my man. Who could ask for anything more? I got my man who could ask for anything more Who could ask for anything more I got rhythm do 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 I got rhythm do 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 I got music I got my man who could ask for anything more For anything more I got daisies in green pastures I got I got my man who could ask for
That was splendid. Thank you very much. Now let's have some feedback. Pat? Thank you very much, Ralph. Um, it was absolutely great to hear all those come to life, finally, after so much hard work and so much energy. The group doing Autumn Leaves, I thought, did a really excellent job of it. As a song, it's very syllabic. Almost every note has its own syllable as it goes through. Yeah, it's really important to get that sweeping line and the sense of the words as it goes through the sentence for that sense of wistful nostalgia. I thought this group did a really great job of creating that legato line through their singing, and that was really expertly managed, I think, by their musical director. Another skill that very few of us have actually learned, but which is so important in this kind of new work, is lip syncing, singing along to a recording of yourself and making it look plausible. It's surprisingly hard to do this, but I thought the group doing Autumn Leaves did an excellent job of making us really come into their performance and make it totally believable that they're with us and singing to us directly. So full marks for that. If I was gonna suggest one thing to them, it would be to think about text delivery. And in the King Singers, when we're working, we try to deliver the text and to sing the words in a way which is appropriate to the style of the song and the origins of the song. So for Autumn Leaves, I'd love to hear a slightly more laid back relaxed, jazzy style to how they deliver the words. So that's something for next time. But overall, what a great performance. Yeah, I thought as well, the group did a really good job with this piece. Um, I'm going to be looking more at the technical side of things and how it sounded uh, from that standpoint. Um, the editing I thought was really good. And I thought the editing sounded really natural and realistic as well. Um, in terms of the mix, um, the spread of voices was really brilliantly executed, I thought, in terms of the stereo image. Um, However, some, some places in the sound, the high frequencies were lost a little bit and the low end got quite boomy, particularly when the tenors sing low in their register around 200 to 500 hertz. Um, but then, yes, the, ed the ending as well was brilliant. The tempo changes were quite difficult to manage, so they're really well executed. For bare necessities, it was great to see them grab the essence of the song. And I think what's really important and something that I think a lot about when we're performing around the world with the King Singers is the purpose of each arrangement or each song within a programme. Is this meant to make them laugh? Is it meant to make the audience cry? What's it meant to make them feel? And I think with Bare Necessities arrangement, it's something silly, light and fun. So I think full marks for their visual engagement and the energy they brought to the video. I think that did a lot to lift the performance and I thought largely it was very well coordinated. Another good thing about this performance, I thought, was the text delivery. I think we lost some of the shackles of the English choral choir stools. And I think there's a lot of really good stylistic inflection, both in the text and in the production of these trumpety sound effects. So full marks for that. If I was going to say one thing, um, it was going to be probably that the one person using a score slightly took us out of the performance a little bit. The, the, the cue that you have where you see pieces of paper in shot is a little bit of a shattering of the illusion. So I think for next time, make that extra bit of effort to make sure everyone's fully engaged and at the camera so the audience can come with you on the ride. Yeah, I also thought this one was great. I, was, I remember watching it and thinking I was smiling immediately. Um, the energy was really brought through. The editing was good. Um, there's some of the really quiet singers um, had slipped through the cracks in some places, but as I say, really good. Um, the stereo image as well was good. A little bit central, but it's better to be that way around than to spread out. Um, the balance was good when there was bass solos. However, for the rest of the piece, um, the bass felt a bit too heavy for me. Um, and I would have liked to hear more of the higher parts, especially in the scat section when the sopranos take over the solo and 
each voice part has their own little solo. Um, the mix, there were some other places in the mix where it sounded like there was quite a lot of effects going on um, to try and probably to fix problems, but that caused some a muffled sound to the group um, and some of the file compression artifacts became apparent. Um, but yes, as Pat was saying, there's some good vocal effects and the, there's quite contrasting vowel sounds within each voice. Um, and that was well managed in the mix and also more tricky tempos, uh, tr tricky tempo changes well managed in this one. I got rhythm. This is such a cool arrangement. I remember singing this when I was younger on Leaking Core Course and I think it's uh, a really fun number uh, and thought this group did a really, really nice job with it. Um, one of the really hard things about recording from isolation and then it all being stitched together afterwards is to remember to still inject character, colour and interest into solo moments. It's so easy to get withdrawn into yourself in an effort to make it all fit. But actually this group did a great job of letting loose. There were some lovely solo moments, both longer ones and little interjections. And I thought it was great to see that colour coming out of individual voices. In terms of the blend, there was some really great stuff. I thought particularly the top voices, the sopranos and altos, had a really lovely uniform um, quality to their sound. Um, which is particularly hard to do if you're not in the same room listening to each other. So that's a really nice bit of work on that score. If there was one thing to work on, I'd say for the basses, you've got a lot of chromatic walking bass work. Every note has to be bang in the slot to make that work 100%. So I think a bit more time spent just working on every single second of chromatic walking bass would have gone a long way. But overall, what a great, what a great performance. Yes, I also I really enjoyed this one. Um... The editing was really good throughout. Um, I thought excellent at the start, though after the tenor solo, it got a little bit, a little less excellent, um, but generally it really good all the way throughout. The mix was also good, it sounded nice and light. Similar with Autumn Leaves, um, it got a bit bass heavy when the tenors sang lower in their register, so you just got to be aware of that when you're mixing it. Um, and I think my only, my only qualm with it was that the stereo image was quite spread out a bit wide, so it felt like a bit of a hole in the middle. Um, but still the vocal balance was excellent, um, and I thought the solo sections were very well recognised and also subtly brought out, just as Pat was saying. I thought Summertime was a really excellent performance, possibly a standout one for me, not least because the console group name was just so excellent. Rhapsody in Flu, I think is a stroke of genius. I think the, the first thing to say is congratulations to the soloist. Sue May did a really amazing job on it. it was, uh, it's a hard thing to sing and she did such a great job. So one to watch there. Um, and I thought the backing group, although they deserve more credit than just backing, did an excellent job across the board, really. I thought the tuning was really excellently managed. The ensemble was tight. They thought really carefully about the vowel sounds they're making. That's something we talked about quite a lot in the run-up to making these, was matching our vowel sounds and really thinking about the scope of different options you have for any single vowel sound. Um, I thought that was all done very classy, um, very professional. Well done, guys. If there's one thing to do, I would think about the video. It was really nice that it was outside reflecting the summertime theme, but I think some of the wind and um, the sunlight probably took away a little bit of the plausibility because the sound was so close and so, um, so nicely mic'd. So I think just think a little bit about how the video matches up to what you're hearing, but what a great performance. Thanks guys. Yeah, also for me, I think possibly my favorite one, um, the editing was excellent. There's less, um, fewer words and less fewer syllables to deal with. Um, like with Autumn Leaves, as Pat said, almost every single sort of, every single note has a syllable, but this one are long legato lines and sort of the flip side of it is that it's actually just as difficult to edit because you've got very little to work with. So I think they did really well to make sure it all sounded really together. Um, also the editing on the final note with Sume singing that top, top A, um, oh, sorry, it was a top C, isn't it? Um, it was fantastic um, to get one note held, edited across two or three different takes. It was really, really good. Um, and uh, the stereo image, again, delicately spread, realistic sounding, really good. And the vocal balance was excellent. Um, my only qualm is the whole thing, I felt could have had a little bit more dynamic range. So maybe just a bit of time spent mixing the, the parts would, would have gone a long way. Um, and also just a few places where I would have liked to hear a bit more of the accompaniment, uh, the group singing. 
um, particularly the triplets. Um, but the mix was excellent, I thought, otherwise. Thank you so much, Pat and Alex, for doing that. And thank you, everyone who entered. I hope that everybody's not only putting their names down for courses next year when we hope we'll have real consult groups, but also we, if not, we will have more virtual ones, but also telling their friends about uh, choral courses so that we really get loads of people coming next year. It'll go up on the, our website soon, so you will all be told about it. So thanks everyone for going in for it. It was just such wonderful enterprise from you. And we'll hope to do something again like it soon. Um, and thank you, Pat and Alex.